What's up everyone? This is Max Red. Today we're going to cover some basics in using the chord pads feature in Cubase 12. There are several ways to write chord progressions in Cubase and using the chord pads I believe is an underutilized but highly intuitive way to write chords, even without knowing music theory. So let's get started. To get started, we open up Una Corda with an instance of contact. Let's hear it. We'll first need to open up the lower zone editor and we can click here or hit command option B or command option E to close it. Notice that our chord pads are empty. We can begin by loading up a chord pad preset from Cubase. Let's go ahead and try favorite pop chords. Let's listen to some of these chords. Another way to load chords onto a pad is to assign MIDI input from your controller or MIDI keyboard. You can also use the chord editor to populate chords that you might want to use. Let's say we want a C major chord progression. We can load the corresponding chords onto the first four pads. And we keep going until we get all four. Once our chords are loaded, we can play the single keys starting at C1. Cubase also has the ability to create new tensions and voicings for our chords. There are also additional settings that you can edit, such as the layout of the pads, the number of octaves used, and the starting note that will trigger the chords. You can also create additional modifiers in editing the pad remote control parameters. I'll have to do a video on this later. But with these additional inputs, you can change the tension, the voice, and transpose the chords as you play them live. And you can apply these different parameters to sections on your keyboard. With adaptive voicing, Cubase actually suggests chords for you as you play them live. Look for the little AV in the top right corner of each pad. Only the pads with adapted voicing activated will change according to the suggested chords. You can also lock the pad so it keeps the tension and voicing unchanged. Now we can lay down our chord progression in real time using our MIDI keyboard as input.
Let's click on our recorded event and verify the chords we just laid down. Here we can edit the MIDI notes as needed. We can then shorten our event to four bars and hear the loop in action. Let's move our locator and activate the cycle mode. We can also use the chord pads feature to add layers to our existing chords. For this layer, we'll use Noir Pure basic piano. Let's practice playing a basic chord progression. If we know where we want to put our chords, we can simply drag our pads right into our MIDI track and edit as needed. Let's shorten the length of these chords here. And we can repeat for the G chords. Let's record some in real time. Let's see if we have to make any edits. Well, we simply move these last chords over and then we can listen to the track now. One thing I forgot to mention is using the chord assistant to load your chord pads. You can preview the chords and then load them right onto your pad. Here you can explore different combinations. It also works with the circle of fifths. Here's a beat we made with the chord pad feature. We've added other elements such as a vocal chop, some bass, and drums. That's all I have for today. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.